four policemen and ex-cop have formally charged with robbery and double homicide for the death of the Baranggian couple in Sitio Tapok Tapok, Barangay Panadtarana, San Fernando. Four of them are active policemen, namely Police Staff Sergeant Rene Katamura, Police Staff Sergeant Jenry Ipil, and Police Staff Sergeant Alvin Inad from the Cebu Provincial Police Office, and Police Staff Sergeant Jenry Batubalunos from City Intelligence Unit of Lapu-Lapu City. They will all be facing additional administrative cases, while the fourth suspect is known as former Police Staff Sergeant Esmeraldo Kilusa. Anissa Navarra, where the suspects were on board fleeing the crime scene, was captured on CCTV. When it was recovered, it had bullet holes as the couple's son fired shot at their vehicles as they escaped. According to PRO7 Regional Director of Police Brigadier General Eduardo Vega, they're still looking into the possibility of whether or not other personalities were involved in the death of Barangay Balungag, Councilor Maria Luila Baringian, and her husband Pedro. May meron pa rin tayong yung ating in-depth investigation. Uh, if there are uh, other possible uh, personalities involved in the incident, uh, yung uh, what I mean is that uh, who might uh, order the killing. One angle they are looking at is the upcoming elections, but this will still depend on their continuing investigation. For now, we can consider this as a suspected lang na election-related incident, suspected only. So we are still uh, having our in-depth investigation. The police gave their word that the active policemen involved will be removed from the police force. According to Regional Intelligence Division Chief Police Colonel Glenn Mayam, the four policemen involved belong to the same unit before. Nasaan sila sa Osaka unit, pero after a uh, few months, na buwag-buwag sila, nagkakahiwalay-hiwalay sila. Pero yung kamaraderi andun pa rin, kaya sila ang nagtatawagan. May mga previous incidents. He, however, clarified that they have not been involved in other illegal activities before. Our, based on our investigation, this is the first time. But we are still uh, conducting uh, follow-up operations. We tried to get the side of the suspects, but they refused to be interviewed. No comment, sir. No comment, RIDND Chief Police Colonel Josefino Ligan said the suspects were the ones who surrendered themselves to the authorities. It so happened na si Kotamura, biglang lang nag-surrender siya. Uh, siguro konsensya dahil sa nagawa niya, hindi na niya kinaya, kinaya. So, biglang nag-surrender at pumunta dito sa atin. This has been Sherizami Oy from my TV Cebu.